Welcome to the VIP Masterclass Series. I'm Josh Wright, and today's episode will be a double feature. Um, <clears throat> we've had so many new members uh, lately uh, that I can't, and I always try to um, honor the new member requests first, uh, but I can't ignore my good friends and the veterans of the VIP group either. So for this week and next week, I'm going to be doing a new member request as well as uh, a veteran member request. Um, to hopefully get those questions answered because we have so many in the queue now, which is exciting for me. I love it. By the way, thank you all. Welcome to uh, all the new members. I'm so excited to have you here and to all you veterans. We just passed one year of the VIP Masterclass Series. Thanks so much for continuing to um, be a part of the group and ask all these wonderful questions. I really appreciate it. Um, this question comes from Sammy, and he says... Hi Josh, I wanted to thank you for all the good work you're doing. Your videos are very enjoyable to watch and very educational, both of which I find as a necessity for learning via YouTube. I do currently study with a good teacher here in Estonia, but being really into it, I spend a lot of my free time trying to devour up resources on music and piano playing in general. I've only played a little north of two years now, but I feel like I'm progressing plenty. Actually, I'm getting my first grand piano, so congratulations, that's awesome. He says, first off, I love Rachmaninoff. All of your videos on anything even loosely related are like a drug to me. I have began to work on the prelude in C sharp minor, and I am running into trouble with the large chords. The reason I feel being that my hands are relatively small, and he says, I can a bit uncomfortably reach a ninth. Absolute maximum is a tenth, but that's basically stretching, and I could not actually play anything like that. And I understand what you mean. This would be what he's talking about. And like, I can reach an eleventh, my hands are quite big, but like that's like I, I couldn't play anything like that so and even tents are a little risky for me he says especially the triple forte section part is giving me trouble because of the position I get my hands into is already a bit iffy and I find my hands becoming really tense and painful I don't want to end up with an injury so I was wondering if there's any advice you could give when playing and practicing pieces that are at the limit of your actual physical attributes i will probably be working on this piece more or less for the year in and out doing easier pieces on the side as it as it is at the peak of my capabilities or above to begin with and there's nothing wrong with studying something like that i just wanted to interject that like people who are just starting out piano but that they love let's say the first chopin ballade that's my favorite piece you know it's not going to harm the student to give them you know, a little teaser part of it. And and for Sammy, this is a fairly short piece. Um, he says, uh, many people say they find the agitato part hard, but I feel like it just comes down to practice. And you have great videos on bringing up the speed and practicing passages like the ones there. I know you've mentioned in your videos that you have a relatively large hands, but I think you'd probably have taught other students with small hands. I'm not necessarily asking you to use the C-sharp minor uh, prelude as the main example in the video if you have better ones, but I'd love to have it in the context of some Rachmaninoff piece. Rock 3 is the reason that got me to pick up the piano again after my childhood, and I'm going to be posting my Rock 3 performance soon um, on YouTube. So anyway, glad to be a part of the VIP crowd. Looking forward to your future videos. Sammy. Thanks, Sammy. I really appreciate you being part of the group. I will demonstrate a little with Rock 3 and with this C sharp minor since you like both of these pieces. Um, so I think your request basically seemed to be, how do I avoid injury when playing? And that's what this video will be based on. How do we avoid injury when playing large chords? By the way, the second request in this video is uh, from Joe, a VIP veteran member of uh, about a year now. And um, his question is going to be on some fingering in the Unso Spiro. Fairly quick request, so we will hit that at the end. But just so each of you know what's coming up. Okay. so. The first thing I want to say is anytime you start feeling pain or tension, um, you need to stop. Pain, you need to stop and take a break. Tension, you need to stop and reevaluate. -eval okay? And there was a lot of days because one of the most difficult passages of Rock 3 was the first movement cadenza. <laughs> It was, it's hard because it's jumping, but it's also hard because you are putting every ounce of power into that. And um, especially when you get to hear. After about 10 or 15 minutes of that, my, 
my tendons started to hurt a little bit. Like when your tendons start to hurt, you need to stop. And it's just because it's high impact. I mean, I'm a pretty heavy guy. I weigh like 185 and I'm putting at least half of my weight into that. <laughs> And then you have this little ounce of weight that has to bear up all of this that is crashing down into it. And then you have people like Eric Olson. He probably weighs over, you know, I'm not even going to guess, but he weighs a lot. And I've seen him play Rock 3, and my gosh, it was good. And that's a lot of power he has behind those little, even his fingers, which are big. He has big, meaty fingers. Even then, he... That's a lot of weight to have a little muscle hold up. Now, our as pianists, our muscles are strong in our hands, but you know, to uphold, you know, a hundred pounds of weight from our upper body or whatever it might be, that's a lot of that's a lot of uh, impact. So you need to stop. And there is absolutely nothing wrong, Sammy, with just practicing in the C sharp minor. I'll start demonstrating with this now. Let's see. Wow, horrible. start to get tired doing that just play nice and soft okay so that's my first tip is is never overdo high impact practice just like a lot of the like the olympics are on right now and a lot of those olympic skiers um like the aerialists for instance they don't practice only going on the hard snow they they practice going into a pool for most of their practice until they're landing and their form is perfect and then they'll try it on the higher impact snow because you can get injured so easily with that and the same thing goes for piano it you don't want to only practice high impact the second thing that i would say let's go on to joe's question now and um joe asks my level nine exam for the MTAC Certificate of Merit is coming up in six weeks. One sticking point is on two bars of the Unso Spiro, the left hand patterns in bars 49 and 50. I've played these two bars thousands of times, thousands of ways, slow, fast, finger staccato rhythms, especially on the first pattern. For the life of me, I cannot figure out a way to do this without tensing up my left hand. It spans a wide range of keys on the high part of the keyboard. My left arm is crossed over my chest, which puts my left wrist in a weird position, and I'm leaning as far to the right as I can. This is the fingering I've used. The right hand is no problem at all. Any tips? Obviously, it's not worth the whole video, but maybe you could spare a bit of time and piggyback it onto another question. Absolutely. Okay, so Joe, and this is for everybody, so important. If things are not working and you have exhausted every way of practicing that you know, and he has, he's a diligent guy. I've emailed him a lot. He's, he's, he's awesome. He's a great pianist. Um, what you need to do is you need to observe two things. And these are the two remedies for every problem after you've done all that work. Um, well, I shouldn't say every problem, but every problem I've ever come across has been remedied by these two things. Fingering or organizing it differently in your mind. There's no way that you're going to organize this. This is the passage, by the way. Thank you so much for watching. I've listed two links in the description below. One of them is to download this full video that you've just watched the sample for. The other is to view the entire library of VIP Masterclass series videos. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great week. Good luck in your practice sessions.